if you're showing up every day in the stock market as a trader when stock market is booming and everything's running up the all-time highs or even when we consistently just keep hitting new lows for example the spy ever since the beginning of april here non-stop we got drilled all the way down to present day may 12th so just over almost a month and a half the s p 500 has just been continuously making lower highs lower lows and just getting drilled down like this sucking up opportunity for longs and momentum for traders but as you show up every day you're going to still pick up on patterns and themes that happen throughout the markets one thing that i've noticed throughout my career when markets start falling down like this they keep going lower and lower they're going to notice a lot of people start to panic and fear people start jumping off the roller coaster people start talking recession and market crash they're watching cnbc you hear them on there they're talking about corrections and crashes and they're scaring investors creating panic out here as traders we take it one day at a time one day at a time we don't try to predict what the spy and the index are going to do we show up every day with a clean slate fresh mind anything could happen and we'll still pick up on themes and opportunities out here in the market one thing that i've picked up on was when markets trend down like this for quite some time you'll notice that in small cap land we call it the wild west you'll notice that volume will continue to return to these small cap stocks over and over and over again it's like everybody gets on the same page and everybody wants to trade and make money so they keep returning to what has been working for example we're going to pull up a few stocks here we had a stock cyn a small cap stock here starting in april april 21st to be exact and this stock ran all the way up until right here just may 11th so a month straight cyn was running up and in play here running from a dollar and topping out at just over six dollars and when you scroll out on the one minute you see every day there's volume pumping into it consistently every day there's good price action you got good movement volatility which creates opportunity cyn we also had another stock redbox rdbx same story as cyn scroll out here on the 10 minute this stock started popping off and you could see all the volume there's really nothing ever really going on all right here and then you get that volume spikes all right here and volume just floods into this stock starting off right here back april 20th stock runs and tops out may 2nd so about two to three weeks this stock ran up from two dollars a share all the way up to eleven dollars a share and then it cracked down and it's down in the gutters because something else popped up and everybody gravitated to that time and time again like i've just said you'll notice volume will keep returning to these small cap stocks when the markets in general are in the gutter we recently had bwv small cap stock up in play for the last few days starting out right here at the beginning of may may 3rd getting a run up it put pulled back here and then it recently came back and it's been trying to set up for a squeeze and you see all that volume come running right back and this just goes to show too that volume is going to run after stocks that are running up notice how when it topped out right here and it started going down lower people start looking elsewhere and volume dried up look at how much volume dried up when it stopped performing and then when it came back all that volume showed right back up we'll look at the intraday chart here one minute the last four trading days this stock has been making some epic comebacks starting out day one right here this stock ran up from 370 all the way up to almost 650 
doubling in value, and then it crumbled and fell apart here at the end of the day. Short sellers pile in on it the next day. Short sellers get squeezed out running right back up to its highs. Once again, stock crumbles and falls apart right here. Short sellers pile in again. What happens? The next day they wake up, they get, they have to cover. Stock runs right back up to its highs and even makes new highs. And notice every day, volume just keeps returning to the same stock over and over again. While Let's take a look at the S&P 500 real quick. The SPY, looking at the one minute here, every single day, the SPY just kept getting drilled down and drilled down and drilled down. No momentum whatsoever. Sucking up all the positive momentum and bullish strength out there. BWV, going into day three, running up and squeezing, and then it failed a few times starts to look like it's topping out once again short sellers think it's topped out they start to get in on it what happens next day they wake up stock rips they have to cover stock runs up to new highs up here at seven now it's starting to crack and fall again what do you think's gonna happen short sellers think it's topped out when overall this stock's been trending up the last four days here just pretty much forming like an ascending wedge that's all it's been doing pay attention to the big picture at hand zoom out on your charts as i always tell you guys there's only going to be three phases that a stock's in it's going to be either in an uptrend it's going to be consolidating or in a downtrend and it's up to you to identify where that stock is at in its trend so i gave you guys three examples three different stocks volume returning day in day out to the same stocks when the overall market is in the toilet and like i've said it's like traders get on the same page we all want to make money we all want to trade so people are going to keep returning to the stocks that keep performing and producing it just makes sense to there's good, really going to be no new ideas that are going to pop up traders are going to come in play the stock that's been in play until it stops performing and then another stock will pop up and start performing and everybody will slowly start gravitating to that name 